dear friends, put down your gadgets, turn away from your computers, get out your scissors, paper, and glue, because it's time for a paper adventure. All right! Aristotle Knock Knock Paper Tales! In one particularly papery land, there lived a moose named Aristotle and a woodpecker named Knock Knock. One fine paperful morning, our friends received a very strange letter. Hmm, look at this, Knock. What a marvelous letter! Who sent it, Ari? It seems that the return address is the dark paper land, but I'm still not sure. The letter is all torn and has holes in it, and it's awful handwriting. Ari, let me check it out. I'm a true expert in awful handwritings. My aunt is a hen. You should see her scratch. Hmm, hmm. It's clear as mud. Maybe this is not a letter, but a picture? We can hang it on the wall. Let's ask the postman who gave it to him. And the friends broke into a run to catch the postman who luckily hadn't flown too far away. The postman told them that indeed he brought the letter from the distant dark paperland, and it was written by a moose whose name was Tam Tam, an old acquaintance of Aristotle and Knock Knock. Tam Tam had intentionally learned the paper language to get in touch with his friends and write letters to them. Tam Tam had a paper and a pencil, but it's too bad. In the faraway dark paper land, they have no stones or tree stubs. Nothing like that to put a paper on and write over it. So Tam Tam had put it right in the sand, and we saw what it came to look like. Oh, poor Tam Tam! He's so bad at writing, and we can't even read it! What if we send him a piece of fence? I've heard that some write on fences. No, Knock. To send a fence is not so paperific. We'll make up a table and chairs for Tam Tam. Well, I'd rather build up a couch for him. I love couches. I'm a woodpecker after all. The friends set to work so hard that chips scattered away. Or more specifically, not chips, but paper cuts. But when the friends were through with manufacturing the furniture, they faced an unexpected problem. That's right! Go ahead! Um, move up! Hmm, that's way too big and heavy. Knock, our furniture won't take to the air. So we'll never know what Tam Tam wanted to say to us. Oh, this will be the most mysterious mystery and secret secret of all the secrets. But what if it was something very, very important? Like the million dollar question of life! Or maybe he needs our help. I'll have to think this through in a paperful way. What is there to think about? We gotta take it on! Quick and paperfully. If only we could send our furniture somehow in a small letter. Well, in fact, we can, Knock. What? How can we send the furniture in an envelope? A piece of cake. We'll make up fold flat furniture. Hooray! Oh, how paperful! Take a piece of paper and fold it in two. Now, cut two lines and open the sheet and draw inwards the part that's been cut. You've got a stable and solid table now. Then, you can cut smaller lines nearby, and you'll have a chair. Or, to be more precise, a stool. Unbend the sheet and cut out a window to admire your paper scenery through it. You can make the furniture more complicated, like cutting out new legs or the back of a chair. But the most paperful thing of all is you can always fold up the furniture, put it in an envelope, and make a pop-up postcard. A stamp! Hurry, we forgot to put a stamp on it! So this story, too, folded up very paperfully. Aristotle and Knock Knock sent the folded flat furniture they made to Tam Tam, and he was at last able to thank them in his response. 
it appeared that in his first letter, he had asked them to mail him some piece of furniture so he could write letters on it. Though Knock Knock is still sure that Tam Tam had sent them the picture, not the letter. It's all because of Tam Tam's handwriting, which is a little too artistic. See you next paper time.